Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here with Mike Lanton Fitness. And as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. We actually have some news. Rod Smith, former Dallas Cowboys, famous brother of Jalen Smith, um, did not re-sign with the Dallas Cowboys. As we know, we've drafted a couple of running backs. <sighs> Mike, I feel bad for him. I know. It's the nature he, of the beast. He, he's going to get that stank on him. It's the nature of He's going to get that New York stinking giant stank on him. He has signed with the New York Giants. That's better than that Redskins stink. Still stink. Stink is stink. Yeah, but, but which, which one would you Rod Smith, to? who in his career has had 44 carries for 127 yards and one TD, now will back up Barkley. I, I gotta be honest with you. As much as I hate the Giants, I gotta admit that Barkley is a hell of a running back. He, he, he is. And to have to go from backing up Zeke Elliott now backing up Barkley, you ain't seeing the field too much. But then again, That's not a bad thing. then again, here's another way to look at it. Hey, thank you. Without having to take the hits, so maybe that's not the worst thing in the world. So, but still, you in the basement with the New York stinking Giants. Although, here's the thing that's interesting. You know, they think that the Dallas Cowboys are dog doo doo, -doo anyway. Uh, Mike, did, did you see when I was recording about the ESPN rankings? I, I, I didn't see it. Typically what they do when they do the rankings, they basically usually just take everybody who's a playoff team, that's, you know, the top 12. And then they do everybody else. The Dallas Cowboys, who not only made the playoffs, but also won a playoff game, you know where they put it them? Oh. 19th. What, what, say what? 19th. That's ridiculous. What, what's funny is, because uh, I look at the Cowboys, the Cowboys were one of the hottest teams the second half of the season. That's we got Amari Cooper. We won 8 of 10 games, including having a playoff victory. We didn't lose any players of free agency. We didn't have any major injuries at the end of the season. We're one of the youngest teams. So I'm trying to still understand how we could have been part of the final eight teams. And yet, they think we're the 19th best team in the NFL. And here, here comes New York Times odds of winning the NFC East. They have the Eagles at 1-1. One one. They have us at 5-4. and four. So it's like, Cowboys get no respect. And I, I'm just trying to understand why everybody thinks that the Eagles are so much hedge Because they had the Eagles at ninth. They'll be number two. They'll, they have to be number two. They had the Eagles, number a two. team that we beat twice last year, rated 10 spaces ahead of the Dallas Cowboys. ESPN, read between the lines. Read between the lines. That's some that's some bullshit. Yes, it is. I, I think you need to do a reaction video to seeing that list. What? Are you kidding me, ESPN? No? Not even worth it? I mean ESPN always doubts us. But that I saw another poll where we have a number eight defense, so I was like... What? I, that, that's what I'm trying to understand. You know, they keep saying, oh, the only move the Cowboys made was they re-signed Demarcus Lawrence. Yeah. And we got some players. Oh, and they only got Robert Quinn, who only had six and a half sacks, but they lost Randy Gregory. Yeah, Robert Quinn's an upgrade over Randy Gregory. And we got some players to fill in from the, yeah, from the draft. Yeah, we, we, we got a guy who's got his pants on fire rusher in Tristan Hill. You know, we had one of the best cornerbacks in football back there. Hmm. We've got one of the best Defensive minds out there, Chris Richard. Mm -hmm. We get back a Pro Bowl center. Mm -hmm. We got Amari Cooper for a whole season. Mm -hmm. But yet, we got worse. Yeah, ESPN, this is for you. ESPN, I was doubting this. Yeah. Um, it's 3 30, headed back home. 
and uh, we'll see what we're going to see. I guess we'll see a few more Mark Holmes videos because, as I'm told, I never shut up. You doing any videos today? No? Nothing? I'm good on that. Man, you got to keep hitting that stuff. Tonight, I'm supposed to be on um, doing an interview on a Facebook page. Um, man, I can't remember which one.